Hi folks, Emma here. Uh, I've done it. I've made my first paper dolls kit. It's taken me forever. It's been an epic journey to remove the background from all of these little guys, clean them up, enhance them, make them as good as I possibly can from the original photographs. And here we are, here's the kit. There's 13 ladies, 14 gentlemen, and a whole um, plethora of little bits and bobs that you can add to them. Uh, this is what that sheet looks like. There's washing baskets, hats, popcorn, bananas, a clapperboard, tacos, double base, a box, um, a record, a glass of wine, a bottle of wine, grapes, a guitar, suitcases, look at all of that, loads to play with there uh, and I've had loads of fun doing it. Um, so that's what they look like. They come in two sizes. I've got one size which will fit on your A6. And they're about that big. Um, let's pop a pair of wings behind him. How fantastic is that? Let's give him a double bass. Look, how cool. And uh, they also come in the same kit uh, they come in a smaller size. Where are they? They're here. I haven't cut them all out because I'm going a bit mad here with all these little people all of a sudden. And these come um, at about three inches. So they'll go on your ATCs, your little art cards. And I've got something that's the right size. Yes, I have. A little piece of index paper there. So they will fit on there. And they've got their own. Let's pop all these gorgeous people down for a minute. And they come with slightly smaller wings, so they will fit on your two and a half inches across there. So there we go. There's all sorts of things you can do with those. I hope you like it. Uh, I love it. I'm going to have loads of fun with these. I'm going to go away now. Um, and I think I'm just going to come up with a couple of little projects for them. But before I do, um, shall we have a look at some of these guys? Look, there's an old Romanian, uh, not an old Romanian, uh, she's not old, but a Romanian gypsy. We've got a boxer here, he's loads of fun. A lady reclining, she could be sitting on something. Um, a dandy gentleman, how fabulous is he? A guy playing tennis. Oh, now what I did with this fella, uh, I took a guitar, there we are, where's the guitar? I've cut out his hand here just with a, a knife. And I've popped that in there. Love that. Give him a set of wings. And um, we've got, oh, and a hat, why not? And we've got quite an unusual little ensemble. Um, what else did I do? Oh, this fella here. I gave him uh, wings, obviously. I've got dragonfly wings as, as well here, by the way. I gave him some wings and the bananas where's the bananas i like the bananas I gave him the bananas and a clapperboard there i thought that was quite fun uh, let's get a plain piece of paper so he's not competing with all the rest i wouldn't use those wings for him i don't think let's see what he's like with this nine, nice green set of wings like that there we go and i also we've got a record here and a cardboard box I don't know why, but I've slit the top of the box there like that. So the record will fit in there. So there's all sorts of things that you can do with this kit. Let's give him a crown. There we go. <laughs> um, what else have I got to tell you? I think that will do for this. I'll go away now. Um, and there's just a couple of little things that I want to make with this. I had a brainwave while I was doing all this. So <laughs> see you in a minute. Here we go then. Right, for this super simple little project, I've got an A6 card. I'm UK. Uh, so that's the other sizings I work with. I've got a little bit of music printed paper, just cut shy so I can mat it. I've got the one of the ladies from my paper doll kit and one of the butterflies from my paper doll kit. The frame from the freebie on the Facebook group and a little bit of frippery I'm going to use on the bottom. So we're just going to glue all of this down. I'm going to be as quick as you like. Ah! And take your time, obviously. I just want to demo how sweet this all looks together. I love craft paper. I love that brown card. I use this quite a lot. 
funnily enough, in Jamie's video where she was talking about using the colour that you like least, brown is possibly the colour that I wear the least. Hardly ever wear brown, and yet I love it. I love it everywhere else. My house is mostly brown and cream, and I love it in my um, artwork. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to pop this lovely lady through the frame like this. My idea being that I want her to look... <laughs> Get your wings on, lady. I want her to look something like that. So I'll glue her wings on. Little dob there. Pop those on. I could turn it round, couldn't I? So I could see if they're going to be in the place I want them to be. They need to be a lot higher than that. There we go. Oh, she, I like her. I think she's lovely. And then I'm going to pop her through the frame like this. So quite where I'll position her, I don't know. I could either have her really high up coming out of the top. Or a little bit lower down, I think, is a bit more aesthetically pleasing to me. I could put her on an angle. Always nice. Yeah, I like that, like that. So what I'm going to do now is just trim her skirt down a bit so she doesn't stick out beyond the frame. Do that quickly. Lovely. And then I'm going to glue this all down in one go. Just for speed as much as anything. I just want to show you how nice I think this looks. And I've got um, a birthday coming up that I need a card for. So, you know, two birds, one stone. I'm trying to hold on to those without moving her. There we go. Pop you on there, little love. Always nice to have a deeper border at the bottom. Because it all adds weight to the bottom. There. Oh, really pleased with that and then I'm going to add this little bit of frippery I could add it here I could put it on the frame I think I'll put it there because I've got the space so I'll glue this on it doesn't really need it, it has got a self-adhesive backing but I could put some brads on there couldn't I or whatever you know whatever you want whatever you've got I just happen to have these gorgeous little metal tabs that I've had for absolutely ages so it's time they were used. And there we go. As simple as that. A beautiful little card or a journal page, a pocket or whatever it might be. All the paper dolls in the kit come in two sizes. Same images, two sizes. Let's get a big one to show you. Here's this rather important looking lady. Have I got her printed out small? Yes, I have. So here she is at the A5 size. And here she is. At the ATC size which is two and a half by three and a half so for this one all I want to do if I can find the bits and bobs that I've set to one side I haven't inked anything I'll do that and I'll come back ready to go right I've got this little scrap of paper I can't remember the name of the kit it wasn't one of my kits uh, this was a, a bought pack of papers oh, and I loved it so much with this boho style. I actually decorated the inside of a caravan with the papers. There we go. So I'm just going to mount that on black. I really enjoy doing things on black. I love how these kinds of colours just pop. This is ever so simple and ever so sweet. I just came up with the idea. I had this little bit of paper. Oh, I'll show you what I did, um, what this little bit of paper was from. I designed a couple of little... Um, chests of drawers, not chests of drawers, shelves, two little shelving units. And this was one of the pieces that I designed for that. And I am going to pick that up and run with it at some point because um, when I started making the mini books, which I've also got here, which I can show you, totally off track, but there we go. These little mini books that I started making, that's the prototype. And this was actually more of the finished one. I thought, oh, those chests, those chests, not chests of drawers, the other things, shelves, those shelves, I could readapt those, revisit those and make a whole mini library. So that's what I'm going to do. These are the um, these are the shelves that I made with all these individual panels that I've, I've painted the folk, art, the folk art for for these. This one's got a little drawer in it. Look, I don't know if you can see that. And there's another one here. And they actually slightly redesigned they would actually take a whole mini library. How exciting is that? I'm going to do that. It's going to take me a while and I hope to get kits up for the whole lot. Um, but back to the beautiful simplicity that is this little paper doll. I love her. Um, so all I'm going to do now is glue the wings on the back. Like 
like that. I chose the yellow ones because I've got a bit of an orangey yellow going on there. And I thought that might complement nicely and be different enough from this purple that I've got going on here. Uh, so I've got a little pocket on the front of my ATC, two and a half by three and a half inches. And all I'm going to do is pop her in there and I've made, I could put something on here. I was going to, uh, but then I realised that I'd be doing, I'd be covering up my design there and I didn't want to do that. I was going to pop that on there, but I didn't want to. I could pop it behind, I guess. Oh, that, well, that one might be quite nice, actually. But there we go. That was the idea. I wanted to make a little pocket ATC to hold a little ATC sized paper doll. And I might make a whole heap of those. I might even make a whole book of them. I could get lots together, couldn't I? And zigzag fold them together. Oh, that'd be really cute. Might do that. Might be showing you that soon. Thanks, folks. I hope you love that. I've had loads of fun with it. Speak to you soon.